April 22nd, you know, we got Tank versus Ryan Garcia. You know, you've obviously sparred, um, you know, Tank. And, you know, you we all watched, you know, Ryan Garcia. You know, how do you think, break down the fight to me, you know, and um, everyone else on this think, live? I think they're not going to, like, any smart fighter not going to come out and just be like, <laughs> they're going to be just, like, going for the I would think I think it's going to be a, a chess match at first. Uh, it all depends who won it, who gonna come and get it, who can sacrifice. Because even both of them, like no doubt, no matter take my brother, both of them can punch. Anything can happen in this game. So both of them can punch. So I think it's gonna be a chess match. It's gonna come down who who make the decision, who make the wrong decision, and got to pay for it. But uh, I think Tank has a chance. So Tank can some things he can give a shot to give a shot or whatever. So. But I think late rounds, 9, 10, maybe 8, Tank will get him. Late rounds, yeah. I, I like that prediction a little bit more. I'm a betting man in boxing myself. A lot of people say, you know, it's going to happen in within, you know, six rounds. But you were there in that press conference in New York with me. Yeah. And then I got to watch that in, in L.A. There's two different types of um, – energies that Ryan was giving off on both of those. Definitely, those absolutely. Covers. Would you have to agree? You know, he, had, he was asked, you know, do you think it's still going to be two rounds? He answered in New York, you know, yeah. I, not yeah. not necessarily he thought it was yeah. going to happen in two rounds, you feel me? Then, you know, he came with a different energy in L.A. What is that? When you come, when you're coming down to, like, a fighter like yourself, how do you feel by that? You know what I'm I saying? Did. Intimidation. Me knowing, like, me, well, I don't really, like, technically know him, but, like, knowing him from, like, the things he do and posts and stuff, it's like, he gonna show out for the people, really. So, in New York, it's like, he ain't really, like, it wasn't, like, it was more of a grounded thing, like, you felt the vibe, it was, like, boxing, like, it was, like, every boxing, yeah, like, it wasn't, like, no casual. No LA, it's, like, Fans, like it's like pumped up, so he got pumped up. But he know he know he ain't about to come out swinging in the first second round. Like, come on, bro. Like, you're not doing that. Like, we know that. What What are the difference in you know this fight coming up when it comes down to tank? You know, I talked to Kenny, and you know he said, you know, by the things that he's you know adversity that he's facing outside the ring, he's seeking God. He's be, yeah, being more mature as a fighter, but you know, being able to share the ring with him while this is all going on, you could kind of give us a little more insight of how that translates from yeah, outside think, the ring to uh, inside. The ring. He, he's he, he's overall growing. So when it comes to growing in the ring, it's like he's taking his time. He paying attention to things. It's not necessarily like he just fighting enough for like anger anymore. Or, like he really into like he, he's. He's digging into tapping into his inner skill, like really paying attention to the things, watching boxing. He didn't used to watch boxing, really. He now he's watching boxing. He learning things. So I mean, uh it's dangerous somebody like that anytime. They could just go and get the punch and fight. Yeah, then they start really tapping into like the sweet science. So I feel like that's what Coach Kenny mean now. Mm, mm. Now, you know, obviously another thing too, he's more active. You know what I'm saying? He just came off of the first fight of the year with Hector Garcia. Now he's back. Uh, it seems like this fight kind of a little bit more rushed than, you know, another, other mega fights that yeah. you know, have been prepared for as far as promotion goes. Um, do you think that we're going to be able to see a different side of Tank, you know, due to the fact of, you know, sometimes he, he you know, he shocks us by, you know, letting out in the first half of the fight. But in the same time, I don't know if that's a, a game plan to just fill out somebody. It's but it is half of the fight. But then also, you kind of know what you, where you're at when it comes to the twelve rounds. You think we're yeah, gonna I see think, a different I think coming see out? A, you'll see a different. I think he. I think he's gonna show more skill this time because like the guy can punch too. He ain't like he don't got. He can't necessarily. He can't just walk to him like just like he can't just walk and just get hit and just, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like you'll see some some nice things. I don't really want to say too much that he going to do, but but I think he's going he gonna to show some, show some great things other than just his power. 